So, Hari Pahasan, uh, about introduction. Statistic is a branch of mathematics dealing with data collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation. Business statistic is the sign of good decision making in the face of uncertainty and is used in many disciplines such as financial analysis, economic auditing, production, and operation including service improvement and marketing research. Our objective of study is to find and explain the value of measures of central tendency, measures, measures of variation, and measures of position. We calculate man, manually using formula and using SPSS. The data used for this study we got from data set of a price of fish captured at several places with 116 observations. We are taking randomized 60 observations from the data file which is in one categorical variables that consists of three types of category. So we choose length 1, week, and sale of price. Okay, before we elaborate on the data further, basically descriptive statistics are used to describe the basic features of the data in a study. It provides simple summaries about the sample and the measures. We can also use descriptive statistics to rationally simplify huge amounts of data. For instance, based on the table shown, we can explain that seven factors, including species, price, place, weight, length, height, and width of a fish have been studied. Although only a part of it is shown in the table, the overall sample size is 60. The given data set consists of two categories, namely nominal and ratio. The example of nominal variables are the species name of fish and the place where the fishes are captured. Weight ratio, for instance, um, price of each fish, weight of fish, length, height, and weight. Okay, to conclude, nominal is a type of data that is used to label variables without providing any quantitative value. It is the simplest form of a scale of measure and cannot be ordered and cannot be measured. Meanwhile, ratio is a form of quantitative or numeric data, the most complex and desirable type of data, and it measures variables on a continuous scale with an equal distance between adjacent values. Okay, next, in an analysis context, there are two main approaches to collect nominal scale data, which is by posing an open-ended question. Uh, which is the responses to which can later be coded to a chosen number of labels or alternatively by include a multiple choice question, the responses to which will be labeled. Both times, percentage or the mode will be used to analyze selected data. Meanwhile, since ratio scale data is quantitative in nature, it may be calculated using any quantitative analysis method, including cross tabulation, conjoint analysis, SWOT analysis, trough, and also SPSS that we are currently used now for this task. Sampling data and record categorical data. The thing we will cover is sampling data by using select data function and transform and record categorical data. The method used were finding the number of sample needed, which in case set B, which are 60. Next is to randomize the sample given. By using the method in the question, we have randomized all the sample until we get a 60. Next, we also need to record categorical data, which were place and species, to be able to proceed to the next step. And lastly, we save the data in SPSS and also in, into a form of Excel. These are the data that was uh, gotten from doing the method. Today I'm going to present part 3 of the assignment which is numerical descriptive measurement. In numerical descriptive measurement, they have three parts which is measure of center tendency. Measure of tendency have three which is mean, mode and medium. First of all mean. Mean is sum of data and tendency divided by the number of tendency. So for length one, the mean is 19.435. For sales of price, the mean is 129.69. For weight is 138.87. Medium. Medium is the value that lives in the middle of the data when the data is in order. The formula for medium is lower boundary plus bracket total frequency divide 2 minus cumulative frequency before it. Divide frequency of the middle class times size class. So, for the length 1 medium is 18.836, for weight medium is 112.676, for sales of price is 188.755. Of majority of center tendency is mood. Mood is the data entry that occurred to it the greatest frequency. The formula for mood is is lower boundary plus bracket the difference between frequency of model class and the frequency of the class before model class divide the difference between frequency of modern class and 
the frequency of the class before modern class plus the difference between frequency of modern class and the frequency of the class after the modern class bracket times with class sub. mode for length is 19.738 width of mode is 106.388 and for the cells of price is 125 the part of numerical discrete measurement is the measure of position. The measure of position include with quantize and interquartile range. Quantile is one of the three points that divide a data set into four equal groups. First, quantile Q1 equal to lower quantiles, cut off 25% in data. Second, third quantile Q3 equal to upper quantile, cut off 25%. Uh, the difference between the upper and lower quantiles is called the interquartile range. For length, Q1 is 13.191, Q3 equal 22.297. The interquartile range is 9.736. For weight, Q1 is 52.357. Q3 is 119.667. The interquartile range is 138.3. Last, sales of price. Sales of price for Q1 is 39.81. Q3 is 207.9. Interquartile range is 168.09. The last part of numerical discretion measurement is measure of variation. Measure of variation have range, variance and standard divisions. Range is different between the maximum and minimum data entry in the set. Range formula is maximum data entry minus minimum data entry. For length of range is 32.5. For weight range is 510.0. Sales of price of range is 479.5. Next, weighting. Weighting is a measurement of the sphere between the number in a data set. Formula for weighting is 1 over n minus 1, bracket, frequency square, minus bracket, frequency square, divide n. So, weighting for length is 59.801. Weighting for weight is 12,825.280. Sales of price weighting is 12,519.11.4 part of measure of variations is standard division. The standard division is a measure of the amount of variance of set of value. So formula for standard division is square root of the variance. Standard division of length 01 is 7.733. Weight of standard division is 113.249. Standard division for cells of price is 112.206. The shape of distribution. The shape of distribution for weight is left skew because mean is greater than median and mode. The shape of distribution for length 01 and cells of price is bell shape because mean and mode is greater than medium. Okay, the first graph I want to present is the histogram graph. Histogram uh, graph is a bar graph that will represent the frequency distribution of a data set. Uh, it is a simple way that uh, we can use to describe a distribution in data. So from this graph, it is a histogram graph of a price of each fish. So as we can see in this graph, the x axis is a level as class width and the y axis is a level frequency. So in this graph, we also can see the first high sale price fish in is at the 1.70 until the 17.2 class width and their frequency is uh, 27. Okay, the second graph I want to present is the OG graph. The OGIF is a graph of a cumulative distribution which explains data value on the horizontal plane axis and at the cumulative level frequency. The cumulative frequency or the cumulative percent frequency on the vertical axis. Okay, from this graph, uh, the OGIF graph is showing the uh, width of the fish. So, as you can see, the X axis is a class V and the Y axis a level this frequency. So, from this graph, we can see the first class weight of fish is at uh, 0 until 7, 73 plus V and their frequency is 21 while the last class of fish uh, is 370 until 443 plus V and their frequency is 1 okay. uh, the last graph I want to present is a frequency polygon graph uh, frequency polygon is a line graph that emphasizes the continuous change in the frequency Okay, this polygon frequency graph shows the vertical range. Okay, from this graph, we can see the x axis is level class V and the y axis is the level frequency. So, this graph shows the first class vertical range uh, is at uh, 17.7 until 22.7 class V, where the frequency is 22, while the low class vertical range is at 27.9 until 32.9 and 38.1 until 43.1 plus V 
where because they have the same frequency that is two. I'm going to present on my section which is 5.0 statistical analysis using software SPSS. Regarding to that, we have downloaded SPSS according to the Google search. And then 5.1, we have described our numerical descriptive measures, which is we did the numerical descriptive measures in SPSS. I have found out that there's a two tables that can be taken out, which is regarding on statistic. I mean, overall of the variables, we can get that the length one, weight and the price for their mean, medians, uh, median and mode. And the standard deviation variance and range also has been based on that. We can see descriptive also has been on there. We can see that's a separable of length one, weight and price. We can see from the statistic table, a dot calculated from the group data. So for the multiple most existed, smallest values is shown, and percentiles are calculated from group data also. And I have also um, created three graph of regarding to the variables, three variables, which is length one, weight, and also price. So for the first one, I have uh, regarded it to histogram graph with a line, which is known as a length one, and with uh, uh, axis y with frequency, and axis s with weight, and axis y with cumulative frequency. And for the frequency polygon for the price, I have done with the axis x with price and axis y with the frequency. Come to the next part, which is also on the 5.1 in regarding on table A, manual data with line 1 and weight and price. So I have uh, tabulized and uh, differentiated it with the three tables shown, with, together with of, uh, methods with main, median, mode, standard deviation, variance range, first quartile and third quartile, and also interquartile and shape of distribution. And the way based on the SPSS, there is all of the measure of center tendency can be found out to that. So we can see they are measured by how it shown and the price for the mean is 126.92, uh, in median 75.1800, and the mode is 1.70 is using by SPSS. But while in the real, in the manually calculation, we can see that uh, for the price, which is not 12.9.69, and for median 88.755, and mode for 125.5. So you can see there is a differentiate between, between the measurement calculation calculated by the SPSS and also the manually. I've also differentiated them into a graphs which is from the manually to the SPSS. I have regarded it with the class width with the right measurement and I have to come to the objective graph for weight of fish SPSS and objective graph of weight of fish in manually. And we can see also I have recorded it frequency polygon of length 1 SPSS and frequency polygon of length in the manually. So you can see that overall of the graph of GIF of price is actually using manually and using SPSS is the same if we can do the data in the right way. So we have to put the point in for the class V in the right way. So that we can get the exactly same data and same graph as we wanted. 5.2 hypothesis testing. 5.2.1 independent sample t test. You can see from the step one state null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. HO is equal to U is equal to price. Why HA is U is an unsimilar to price. Step two state the level of significance and we can found that level of significance is 0 0.05. Step three is compute the test statistic. So we can compute the test statistic in by using SPSS. So we found out there's a group statistic. We can find out for the three variables price, weight, and length one. And independent sample test has also been taken. To know step four decision rule, you can see that RH reject HO if TA is equal to DF. Critical region, the T is 0 0.05 is equal to 2, and we have separable to E and 0 0.25, 0 0.025 equal to 28, and it will be 2.004. Step five conclusion, you can see that T is equal to the F, which means that negative 3.188 and then the negative 3.416 is equal to is smaller than 2.004. So you can then fail the reject to HO, therefore we can conclude that there is no significant difference in the price. For the next section, 5.2.2 ANOVA. ANOVA is actually analysis of variance. It's a collection of statistical models used to analyze the difference between the groups and their associate procedures, which means their variation among their between groups. So we use it and we start with the step one hypothesis HO is equal to U1 is equal to U2 is equal to U3. HA, which is at least one of the mean, is different from the others. Step two, we have found out the level of significance, which is 0 0.05. And step three, we have computed the test statistic price in SPSS. And we have found out there is an annual level in the SPSS. Step four, decision rule. Reject HO if F is bigger than F alpha. F significance, V1 and V2. Critical region, when the F 0 0.05, which is the level, uh, level of significance, 41 and 17 is equal to 2.0. So conclusion from the step 5, we can see that F is bigger than F significance, 0 0.0.5. 41, 17, and is equal to 13.727. is smaller than 2.000. Fail to reject HO. Next section, 5.3 correlation analysis. We can see that the two scatter plot metrics regarding to the graph 1 and graph 2. Based on the scatter plot metrics, we can see that the graph 1 shows the length 1, weight and price. And this shows that it's an increasing of the weight and the vertical length and length 1 in CM per year and increasing of the sales of price. Graph 1 shows the scatter plot metrics before adjusted to 200 maximum of degree and to show in the straight line. So meanwhile, graph 2 shows after the adjuster. We'll attach some of the table for correlation analysis. We can see there's a three variables labeled there as we know, which is price, weight, 
eight and nine one. So it's significant at the level of zero zero point zero one level of two tail. Well, it means that our value between price and line one is zero point nine two nine, and it was considered a moderate correlation. While weight and line one are zero point nine six three, it's thought to represent a stronger or larger association. Those line one is associated with the both price and weight, and for the more our value between the price and weight is zero point nine five nine. Therefore, there is no problem with multi collinearity. Hi again. Now I'm going to present on five point four confidence interval. Through the SPSS format, I have found out that a coefficient alpha is one of the table for the confidence interval. And throughout there, we have take out for the dependent variable, which is price, and label it as here is a constant with the weight and length one. We have found out that this table shows that 95% of confidence interval for weight is to the low boundary is 0.636, while the upper boundary is 1.173, where the value is within the zero is within the interval. So the weight is a significant predictor. So meanwhile, length one shows that 95% of confidence interval was negative. 3.893 regarding to the lower boundaries, while the upper boundaries is 4.492, which also explains the value of zero is not well confidence interval. For the last part for the section five, which is 5.5 prediction modeling, a variation of basic linear regression is referred to a multiple linear regression. It attempts to model the relationship between two or more independent variables and a dependent variables by fitting in a linear equation to observe the data. So we can see here, I have taken out for the required uh, question regarding on the ANOVA, and the ANOVA is taking out from the predictor to the dependent variable price of the each fish and regarding the predictor of weight another independent variable. So we have taken off for the model summary, which known that the first one, which is the predictor, is a constant, which is the price, length one and weight together in one model summary data. So the R square value is a 0 0.920, which means that 92% of the variation in price can be explained by the weight and length. So coefficient model is been according to the price, which is constant, weight and length one. If dependent variable is price, the model of the multiple linear regression is as below, which is y is equal to b0 plus b1 x1 and plus b2 is x2 plus dot dot. So we have taken out to the b0, b1, b2 are parameter, x0, x1, x2, x3 is for unknown as a constant variable. So y we taken as a price and b0 is a 41.910, which regarding to the unstandardized coefficient of price, b, and b1 if you take from the 0, 0 0.905, which is regarding to the weight as that as B and X1 to the weight. B2 is a 0 0.300 is regarding to the length as that as B and X2 is regarding to the length 1. The equation was price like like being like this. Okay, the equation was price equal to 41.910 plus 0 0.905 which is weight and plus 0 0.300 which is length 1. And from this multiple regression of equation, it shows that B0 which is 41.910 that for the price for every unit price in white are expected to be increased by 0 0.905 provided to other variables which is length 1 remain unchanged. Similarly, for every unit increase in the land, price will go up to 0 0.300, provided the fish are still of the same price. That's all. Thank you. In conclusion, we know how to distinguish two data, organizing data, and describing the data. Moreover, we know how to organize the data which is from the data we choose. It, it is a graph and quantity variable data. With the data we obtain in our lecture, we can perform all the statistical calculation we need for this report. We use the data for this study we got from data set of a price of fish capture at several places. With 160 observation, we are taking randomized 60 observation from the data file. Data set containing two fields, length 1 and and weight for variable x and sell, sell of price for variable y. We also calculate the class weight, frequency, cumulative frequency, and midpoint to complete the graphical representation. We also describe the data set with various numerical, numerical descriptive measures, including the measure of central tendency, the measures of position, and the measures of variation for two fields by manual calculation and the SPSS system. Moreover, we know how to construct a table and draw a graph based on the da data we had. We had drawn a histogram, frequency polygon, and a GIF. We also have measure of central tendency, which is represent the center of a distribution by mean, median, and mode. In hypothesis testing, we use the independent sample t test and ANOVA table. We show in de detail the five main steps, which are state null and alternate hypothesis, significant level, SPSS up, decision rule, and decision. Last but not least, we also can know the way to interpret data for statistics using SPSS and make it in short and understanding form. In short, we can assume that we know how to transform data from linear text to statistic data.